Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we emerged from the gullet of the beast, the boss tent. We went down his mouth, into his guts, to everything that makes him him, and then emerged or something. Uh, you understand the basic gist, I'll stop playing it up. Because this time, it is our final trial. This egg in the middle of Woolly World, in the middle of Craft Island, rather, is ready to hatch. This baby is a demon child. It's the wonderful world of wool. Let's get into it. The true final level. For this last one, I think I'm gonna go for higher defense. This is a badge I don't believe I've used at all since it was introduced, and I just wanna be able to get through this level, and I think taking more hits would be a nice way to get through it and gauge what we're up against one time. It is no secret at all that this is going to take multiple runs, just cause that's the nature of the beast. To the Yoshi experts out there, this is clear as day a reference to Endless World of Yoshis, a name that strikes sheer terror into all who know it. I have never met anybody who doesn't consider that one of the absolute hardest platformer levels they've ever played in a like proper retail game. Outside of any kind of hack or anything that's like intentionally made with the intent of being difficult, it's it's pretty high up. Right away, there are a lot of elements from World 1. We have the windmills here that you gotta fill in. You have some different varieties of piranha plants. There was the beginning of 1-1 one, one over there where you had the shy guy and the cloud up above. It's kind of going to be the way that things are. It's an amalgamation of different levels that we have seen up until this point. And I've mentioned a few times that, hey, you know, this enemy only appears in two levels in this whole game. You will understand what I mean much later. That's why. A lot of level concepts that only appeared once will come back if only for just, like, one platform in this level. And it's taking us through our journey all over again. Uh, oh boy. Oh, no. Uh, I'm already having some trouble here. Wow. Uh I've taken two hits already, sheesh. I don't have any eggs, and I can't make any more. Uh, okay, that's cool. I just need my flower. Don't care about me versus stamps. Going onward. Act this level is hard enough to make me actually keep my word that I don't care about me versus stamps, because that's how I always am. I'm always like, hey guys, I don't care about me versus stamps. Ha ha ha, me versus, what's that? Not even Nintendo cares about it. Why should you? Nobody cares about it. And then I totally do care about it, because I just go out of my way to get them anyway, and it bothers me if I don't. Oh my god. Uh just one of those levels where there's someone off screen constantly throwing crap at you. Uh, going on. Going on. Uh, hot dogs? Well, uh, speak of the devil of things that I was saying only show up for one level coming back. Uh, definitely a place to hide something. Flower number two. This is basically a world two area, which is oddly short. World two was way better than this, guys. Come on, like... I think that's where Walk the Chomp to Unwind was. Why is that such a short segment that doesn't even showcase a lot of the better levels in it? Like, that's disappointing. World 3 at least gets its prettiness, but I'm not sure really what there is about it. Uh, now. With us going across these deceptive rainbows, I have something that I need to share with you that I have been keeping from you this entire time. I know, I need to come out and say things. I need to not keep things from each other. So I'll just tell you. Coming right up, this is about to become a blind playthrough. As in, I got to the end of this game, and I loved it so much that I was confident that I would want to let's play it someday. And I got to I got to Wonderful World of Wool. And after giving it a few solid attempts, I quickly realized how brutal this stage was and what an endurance run it is. And I figured, you know what? It might be fun if we do this blind, where I, you know, get to, because I was having... I, I don't know if I'd say I had super good first reactions to things that were coming up, though, but I was sure that there was going to be something that was just utterly mean, and it would be kind of... You know, I, I kind of wanted to leave at least one thing up to surprise, so I have done that. I do not know anything that is coming up beyond a certain point. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in World 4, this is about as far as I got. I don't think I got much further than this. So starting from a right around here, this is where it is. Which is actually kind of pathetic, considering that I've gotten this far on my first try and I don't even feel like I've really been struggling all that much. I mean, without the defense up, I would definitely be dead, but 
still. I'm not sure why I had such an apparently hard time with it. Especially when you have such a disappointing enemy as that guy roaming around. If this really isn't that hard of a level, and I was just projecting because I know what Endless World of Yoshi's is like, then, um... Poo on me, man. Poo on me. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean literally, guy! I just called you Poo! How do you like that? It's about as good as you are at actually killing people! Uh, Yoshi's without eggs should not open their big mouth. Oh my god, uh, okay, uh... Well, I'm gonna be dealing with you regardless. Oh, uh, there is a Wonder Wool right there, and, uh, there's the fish! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Like I said, Yoshi's Without Eggs should not throw stones or something. I'm sure it's a saying. World 5, Bumpties in their unkillable greatness. I had some people telling me that a Bumpty boss didn't make as much sense as I was making it sound when I was... Complaining about Big Montgomery being the boss of the ice world because you can't kill Bumpties, but come on, there's loads of logical- Oh, this is as far as I got! This is as far as I ever got. I remember this elevator ride of doom with ice physics, and I remember that every run was just getting back up to this point to get one more attempt at it. Some piranha plants I can't really do much of- Oh my god, there's three of them now. No, 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 Gimme, gimme. I want the Bumpty! The para-Bumpty, the whatever- I guess now it's a pair of bumpties, but... Oh my god, um... Uh, well, uh... Wow! What about this? Nice elevator! Uh, okay. Uh, that's one flower that we're having to come back for. I'll have to think about what it is I want to do for that. Maybe... Maybe not big yarn balls? I'm not sure. World 6. Poochie! Okay, well, I did have a big reaction to something, though not in the way I expected! Poochie Buddy! And, and, uh, oh, Kamek. Hi. How lovely to see you. Um, I would say that I missed you, but in reality, I didn't. I'm, I'm kind of happy that Kamek is getting his revenge in somewhat of a way, because we were really awful to him the first time around where he didn't get to do anything. Poochie, come on over. Need to have Kamek destroy the correct blocks, I guess. Which is not happening like this. Kamek? Help me out. Help a brother out. Thank you. You and I go way back, you know. I'm I'm a I'm a Koopa that betrayed Bowser and uh, you're Bowser's nanny. You know? I'm sure we have very similar opinions of the man. Poochie, move over Poochie. Okay. For a second there, I thought I was gonna have to call you stupid for the very first time in this game, and I was not looking forward to having to do that because I love you, buddy. Uh, that doesn't really look like anything other than a Kamek platform, though, but why would it be there is the thing? Uh, oh, no! Not today. Jump up. No, nope, not quite. High enough. Oh, no, Poochie, don't jump. Ah! I thought I landed! Ah! <laughs> yep. Yep. No checkpoint. <laughs> All that again, just to get another attempt at the end of level stuff. Welcome. Welcome to this level, but guys. All right, a thing that I noticed was a distinct disturbing lack of eggs. And these stocking piranha plants will be an endless supply of them because you can just keep eating their neck and they will grow it back. What a fantastic ability to be born with. After taking out the buddy, this one hot dog by itself is also pretty easy for building up eggs with. Oh, you gotta hear this music. Another attempt at this place, I made it all the way here with all collectibles and full health. Which is just a fluke. 
Because I don't want to have the cockiness curse come back to bite me. You know how it is. But what am I saying? The cockiness curse. It's the let's play curse. This don't this 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 toy has been kerned for no. This term has been coined for at least a decade now. We know how what it all is. I don't need to like make up my own stupid, less good, lame-sounding version of it like America always does whenever properties come over from other countries. Not knocking on dubs or anything. Just kind of knocking on how. You know, we would always make our own Americanized version of everything. Oh, yeah! Give me that! Man, after you've been through what I've been through, and you get through this segment, and you actually have a lot of eggs, the eggs feel like the freaking light arrows, man. You feel like you can handle anything with them. Well, um, I'm gonna go back. No, I'm not. <laughs> Here I thought, you know, oh, wait, maybe there was something hidden in the wall over there, but oh, well, if there is, I can, I can get it on a repeat attempt. I'm actually feeling pretty confident in this now. I... I'm willing to bet that they're probably going to do something really jerkish at the end, like stick the Baby Bowser final boss fight at the end, so we have to do it a third time, and heck, they might even do the fast one just to make it extra mean, but, um, I don't know. So far, things are going pretty well. I think I'm just going to pick up some eggs real quick. It's like I'm stopping at the supermarket. Making allegories for everything, you can tell that I'm nervous because of that. Uh, Poochie, who's a good stepping stone? You are. You're my favorite stepping stone. My shoes love you. Thank you. These I shouldn't be able to, these I won't be able to pick up, but. No, okay, that's one. Kamek, if you would be so kind, thank you. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you, buddy. You know, if you just didn't attack me, I would never be able to beat this level. So I appreciate it so much more than you know. Poochie gets that. Fish him out. Okay. Baby, thank you. Right away! I'm really curious why that's there. Like, I kind of want to just hover in place a little bit and risk my life shamelessly because I really want to know why this is... Oh, God. Ah! I had to know when I paid the price! <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm just going to ignore that. I'm going to pretend like it's not even there and like it doesn't mean collectibles. It probably does mean something that I'm just not thinking of, but then again, maybe it's not. The pursuit of knowledge cost me my life! Eat your sponges, they are high in fiber. Oh! I'm gonna have an interesting time of this. Yes, I am. I'm gonna have an interesting time to say the least. Oh man. Uh, uh, I can't collect it while I'm inside of somebody's mouth. Uh, man! Uh, get me up there. Get me up there. Thank you. All right. Well, if there was ever a run to test out my hypothesis, it's no. I have to say, the collectibles haven't been hidden very much. It's not at all like I thought it was going to be. Oh, Papuji's here, how can I be mad? Aw, and he's so happy to see me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this little guy really does perk me right up. It's kind of funny seeing the perspective of people who grew up on Yoshi's Island and how his AI is absolutely dreadful in that game. And a lot of you from all that time ago say, like, I'm sorry, I can't look the other way whenever you're praising Poochie. It's, you know, you, people telling me that it, like, disgusts them to see somebody positive about Poochie. And... I get it. I, I grew up with that Poochie as well, but this is a new Poochie, man. His his obedience school really paid off, I have to say. <laughs> now, um, and I guess I could hit Kamek with an egg while I'm at it, though, just because I haven't done it already. Uh, maybe not like that. Or like that. Never mind. I'm saving my eggs. I need to just focus on surviving now. I don't need to be fancy. I don't need to answer questions that nobody asked. I just need to live. Oh, my God. That was not living. Poochie, come over. Thank you. It's gonna be a little hard to avoid. Thank you. Okay. Poochster. Oh, oh, no, no! I got, I panicked when I saw the shy guy dropping onto me. I thought it was gonna knock me into the lava. Oh well, at least it's another attempt at the flower without having to replay the level. <laughs> <laughs> They're cold-hearted killers still. Trying a new strategy. Gonna keep the piranha plants on the edges alive because they keep you from going into the instant death spikes. It sucks taking damage, but it's at least better than dying and losing the entire run. 
thinking that might be an improvement. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Okay, well, you have to kill that one at least. I thought I could maybe get over to it by just jumping over him, but I guess not. Lowered down onto my dog, and I'm not even gonna bother with that mess over there now that I've given my life for it once. Brings back too many painful memories. Oh no, okay. We gotta do this fancy. Okay. So, we have to make him shoot up here, but I have to not actually be up here when it gets there. Okay. Shy guy. Is that? that can't be it. Can it? No, there's still. It, 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 there's a flower in that middle portion that I did. Okay, there, I missed flower number four. That's still one bundle of wonder wool and one flower left. Which means. Oh my god, it's Bowser's castle. But this music's triumphant! I am. I, I can't jump down there. I can't do it. Go! I am over the moon! <laughs> okay, all right. I'm really happy that the moon made an appearance in the game after all, not as a background object, because that is just too iconic of a Yoshi set piece to not have in any level whatsoever. Let's claim the glory together. Oh, and it's like the first level again. You, oh, Yoshi. Oh. This is such a happy moment. I love it. <laughs> the end almost a hundred thousand beads after all that expending them I still managed to get that many there is one flower left to be collected and we are going to be using the best most durable most valuable Yoshi of them all inside the egg was shiny platinum Yoshi. Not just platinum Yoshi, shiny platinum Yoshi. Every Wonder Wool isn't good enough. Let's make it every flower too. Ooh, Poochie would be really good for that segment. Yeah, you know what, yeah. Do the entire true final level with our dog. Oh, he's not made of wool. He's a shiny Yoshi, just like regular Yoshi was. This is my first time actually getting to see him up close, so yeah, that's kind of a big deal considering that's the second shiny Yoshi that we've ever seen. Poochster, do your stuff. Come on, buddy. I know you got it in you. There you go. Look at you. You are the only thing mightier than the Bumpties. I could have designed a boss fighter. I'm using Poochie. Oh my gosh, I just realized that in the whole argument about why a Bumpty wouldn't be a good boss. I'm like, then why aren't there bosses designed around Poochie, huh? It's very simple logic, you see. <laughs> okay, Poochie, just come on over here for a hug. I swear there is nothing malicious to what I'm having you do. Comboed. I was focusing on what I was doing, but somewhere along the line I broke 100,000 beads. It's the same feeling as feeling like you need a new car. Yay? <laughs> Away! Gucci. Away with them! Not away with you. I'm back over, thank you. Away! Mush, Poochie! Mush! 
We're in an ice level, so it doubly fits. Okay, there it is. Ah, come on, I did it perfectly in one try. Why can't I do it anymore? I am getting really whiny here. I guess it's what the extreme end game difficulty does to you though, but I will try to tone it down. Not like there's really much more game to tone it down for, but uh, I'm sure every iota helps. Oh no! Well, so much for that effort. <laughs> I call this section convention elevators. So guys, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm trading my dog for a watermelon. It's okay, it's a fair trade. I'll just buy him back after I'm done with the watermelon. I have a plan, I'm not abandoning him. With our fire-breathing powers unlocked, I think this will be a much quicker, much more efficient way of taking out the enemies than just kind of hoping that Poochie is in the right area of the screen for it. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better, actually. So the Piranha Plant's knocking them out. It'll make it so the Bumpties just go into the spikes and die. And we can also take out the flying ones. A lot easier. Take that. And then be ready for you. Uh, no, come on! Okay, it's fine. You can. Oh no, he's gonna spit me out of the. Oh god. Oh my god, I got my eggs back. I might live. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it goes back down. It goes back down. You can ride it a second time if you have that held darkly in your heart. Also, I don't have to buy my dog back because he escaped the watermelon salesman that I traded him to for, and he came back to me. It's kind of like a. I guess with Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out, it's something I've kind of always wondered about that franchise. Why doesn't Sora just make really quick money by selling his Keyblades and then like, you know, a few minutes later, they'll just like teleport back to him anyway. I've always wondered that though. Cause I mean like a lot of them look very valuable and some of them even have like precious gems on them. You could make a lot of money doing that. And if anybody challenges you on it, it was in the name of saving the world. I don't know. It's something I've thought since I was a kid of like, hey, if the Keyblade transports back to him every time anyway, why doesn't he just do that? They'd get really rich off of it. If you're gonna save the world, you might as well get rich at the same time. It's what a lot of other protagonists do. Just look at Wario. He's honorable, right? I don't have the balls! Though I do want to know what happens ground pounding over the moon if you can. No? Why is there a... Oh, is it just meant to be a bolt stuck in the moon that the string is attached to? But what if you hack and then ground pound it? I legit want to know the answer to that question, even though it's probably nothing. <laughs> All these flying watermelons coming by. It is quite a sight, the migration of the melons. But what is even more of a sight is the young master's dog coming by to pick him up at the end of his journey. Yoshi. Oh, and the eye is the last Miiverse stamp, too. Nah, <laughs> that timing was atrocious, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm pretty sure we've seen every bonus stage anyway, and beads are meaningless at this point. Unravel your pants at me one final time result screen. There it is, 100% wonderful world of wool. For being the Yoshi that obtains every flower, that Yoshi is rewarded with nothing. I checked, and it turns out, no. The reward for getting every flower is Wonderful World of Wool, and getting every flower in Wonderful World of Wool just increases the chances of getting the bonus game at the end. I have to say, that's kind of a letdown, actually. There's no reason other than bragging rights. I mean, a gold star is nice. It always made me feel good when I was a kid, and. I get nostalgic for those days a little bit when they're awarded to me now, even, but that's actually a little bit of a letdown. The final level was great, though. Um, I will say that I don't think it's really as hard as the level that its inspiration is. That was a bad way of wording it. Um, I don't think it's as hard as Endless World of Yoshi's, not by a long shot, but it's still pretty hard, though... As hard as that one segment with that icy bridge is, I think honestly given a few more attempts before I decided I was going to do this blind, I probably could have done it. I'm just glad I didn't so I would have had the genuine reaction to Poochie running in at the end because 
Oh man, the developers knew. They really knew how wholesome and good Poochie was. He is objectively the best character in this game. Uh, anyway, that is all of Yoshi's Woolly World. It's been a fun ride. It's been some tough challenges along the way. And I hope you'll join me back here next time for the bonus video, everything we have not seen. Remember when I said that I could make an entire video out of just the amiibo functionality of this game alone? Well, maybe not a whole video of that, but it's going to be a vast majority of what we're going to be talking about. See you guys then.